Doesn't take much, man. A girl like that, she gets in your head, she just takes over. Good luck, amigo. It's like she wormed away into my life, you know? It's, I working for the family? What, what more do they want from me? It's like she's in charge of my time and, and my wallet. I wouldn't mess with that Uncle Benny. I bet you he's put a few wise guys to bed early. Oh man, speaking of princess, she who must be summoned is calling. I'm late to this stupid family wedding. I, I really gotta go. I'll catch up with you guys. See you, Tommy. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Good to see you. Uncle Ben, I just wanted to say congratulations. Looks like you had a great turnout here. I'm sorry if I interrupted. Just wanted to say hi. Hey. Uncle Ben, please, just a few more minutes. I know Thomas should be here any second. Don't dismiss him because of a little tardiness. People are starting to leave early, Bridget. I, I was going to offer this guy a job, a promotion. This isn't the first time he's messed up. Please, just 10 more minutes, I swear. Fine, tonight I'll talk to him. He screws up again though, he's out for good. Zero tolerance, no mistakes, got it? I got it. I got Remember you in after the car accident. Your parents, God rest their souls. Uncle Ben, I understand that completely. That's why I would never want to let this. Excuse me, just one quick second. Bridget, please. Are you serious? I'm sorry, I completely forgot. You forgot Uncle Ben's... Tommy, how the hell are you? Hey, I'm all right, I, I guess. I'm about to be a hell of a lot better. I got a job for you. Jesus, you smell like the bottom of a bottle. Are you seriously disrespecting me like this? Uncle Ben, please, give me a chance to explain. You can kiss your job goodbye. Uh, one more chance. Uncle Ben, I can make it up to you, I promise. Not a second chance. You blew it. Now get out of here before you see how mad I can really get. Bridget, Bridget, please. I thought you were done with that. No, no, no. It's best you just leave. All right, kid. Don't please bother trying to get a hold of Get him the hell out of here. Bridget! Bridget! That girl again, man, isn't it? Yeah, man, I'm just bummed out. Listen, I know what just happened, man, but you really need to get out and uh, find somebody new. You know, it doesn't have to be serious or anything. I just don't feel like I'm ready. She, she was kind of crazy, man, and you know, I just, I don't know, dude. I'm just kind of, I have a friend in mind Look, Saul, I appreciate the offer, but... Listen, she's friends with Katie. She's really nice. I have her number. Let me just write it down for you. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? I mean, Bridget knows Katie. She broke up with you, though, right? Well, I'm... Didn't she? Yeah, she did. Well, then that's it, man. Dude, take this number and call her up. She's really, really nice. She's a little bit of a picky eater, but whatever. And just stay optimistic. By the way, have you, um, I don't know if you've gone to the movies recently, but there's that new movie out, Dare to be Amish. Have you ever heard of it? No, no, not yet. Whatever. I'm trying to find somebody to go with me, so it's not a big deal. But yeah.
So, uh, can I get you guys anything to drink? Or are you guys ready to order? Um, not that hungry. The chicken marsala, instead of like the marsala wine pan sauce, mm -hmm. can you take the wine out of that and just make it marsala pan sauce? I mean, it's it's like it's cooked into the sauce, so I don't know if they can do that. I'm not gonna make any promises that they can. Escargot is that is that is that snail? Yeah, snails. it's it's snails. I don't want snails. Okay. How big is the uh, stuffed portobello? I think that big. That that big. What I've witnessed being served. Fist. Like a fist or like open hand. It's like a fist and a half, probably. Yeah. Never mind. Um. Okay. Salads and soup. What? What, what order? It's soup or salad, actually. Oh. It's, it'd be extra for both. It's gonna, it's gonna cost extra? Yeah, it's gonna be. I mean, I'm not paying, but, um. Hmm. I guess I'll do the chicken Caesar salad. Okay. Except there can't be any fat. Well, chicken doesn't usually have fat there can't on be it. Any. It doesn't usually have fat on it, so I think. I think your your worries are pretty non-existent. All right, I'm trusting you. All right. Instead of Caesar dressing, I want Thousand Island. Yeah. Okay. All right, no, I'm uh, I'm just gonna get soup. Okay. And uh, you, sir? Uh, uh, bacon cheeseburger, medium uh, fries. All right, excellent. I'll uh, have those out for you in uh, just a second. So, uh, how do you know Katie? Oh, Katie, uh, well, my good friend Saul is his, her, uh, boyfriend, so me and Saul have a history, you could say. I got a history lesson about you and, uh, Bridget. Oh, well, she means good. Her uncle got me this job, and, you know, it was good while it lasted. What do you mean? Well, I made a few mistakes. And, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to fix them and, you know, do the right thing and, you know, live a better life, so. Well, what were the mistakes? There was this family event and I was late and a little drunk and Bridget wasn't too happy. Oh, she, could you, could you excuse me for a second? What are you doing here? Are you having a good time, huh? Just enjoying dinner. <laughs> Uncle Ben actually took me here once. You remember Uncle Ben? Yeah. Yeah, the one that gave you a job, right? Yeah, and, and I appreciated that. I can't even look at you in the eye. You just love making me look like a damn fool, don't you? I'm not trying to make you look like a fool. <laughs> just shut up. I can't even look at you in the face. What do you want from me? What do you think? I leave you alone for a week. A week. And you're going around talking to random girls? What the hell is wrong with you? Look. Just shut up. You broke up with me. Remember that. I don't care. I don't care! We can work this out. I don't... I let you meet Uncle Ben. I give you a job. I give you a fresh start. I give you everything! Babe, come on. Babe. <laughs> Look, Saul set me up with her. I had no control over this. I guess I had no control over this then. Hey, hey, whoa, what are you doing? I, I don't know what you're thinking. Stop! But... Don't you see? Come. This is what it's come down to. Please, put the gun away. I don't know what you're thinking. You think I want to do this? Please don't. Bridge, come on.
don't move, don't move. Take it easy. Ah, ah. Take it easy. Nurse says you can't move. I can't believe she did this to you. What a hothead. Gets it from her mother's side. Where? Where, where should it? Where, what do you even do? That doesn't matter. Look, kid, you're pretty roughed up. She shot you in the shoulder just a couple inches shy of your heart. You don't move. You could crack a rib or something like that. Yeah, uh, easy, easy. Um, listen, doctor said you're gonna make a full recovery. That's good, I guess. What are you doing here? I came here to apologize and, and to take care of you, to recover. Look, I, 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 I can get you your job back. We won't tell Bridget, it'll be on the down low. She won't even know. Dude, don't tell her. She, she, <coughs> she should be going to jail. I am connected to some very powerful and dangerous people. You don't think for a moment that I would let my own flesh and blood go to jail, do you? She's one of my own. I raised her as my own. My my girl. I'll 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 make it so that you you you're at the top of the company. What do you say? Well, I guess I, I guess I'll think about it, but I'm not making any promises. That's what I thought you'd say. I did it this time, didn't I, baby? <laughs> now listen, Tommy. Baby. Shh, shh, shh. Ah. Shh. Before you say anything, I know I shot you. But the thing is, I'm willing to let bygones be bygones. This could be a fresh start for us. Don't you see? No. Tommy, I can talk to Uncle Ben. No. He can get you that job. We can move to the city like you always talked no. about. No, no. Shh, Tommy, keep your voice down. You have to realize something, baby. When I heard that you were with that other girl, <laughs> I can't picture you with anybody else but me. You're crazy. Tell me I love you. I don't. I don't say that. Go get, go get the nurse. Tommy, keep your voice down. Just no. Go get the nurse. Tommy, shh. If you're too loud, they'll come in here. Nurse. Yeah. <sighs> free. Shh. Nurse. No. Don't bite her. Nurse. You never <laughs> need to doubt it. I'll make you so sure about it. Nothing to me. So, so what good would living do me? God, God only knows what I'd be without you. Be 